Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to add custom icons, in this case, font awesome icons into your Gravity Forms fields. Now there is a little bit of custom CSS involved in this, but I promise you we're gonna keep things super simple. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, as you can see here, I've set up a very basic contact form. In fact, this is just the Gravity Forms boilerplate template for a contact form. So we have a name field, an email field, and a comments field. And what we wanna do is add in an icon for each of those fields. So the first thing we wanna do is add some custom classes so that we can target each of these different fields to add unique icons for the name field let's go ahead and click on that and then on the right hand side here we're going to scroll down to custom css class now you can really add any sort of class in here that you want to what i'm going to do for the sake of ease of remembering these things is just type in gf dash name dash icon and then we'll go down to our email field here and we'll type in the same thing but with email gf email icon and then down to our comments here and we'll type in gf comments icon and we'll go ahead and save now we need to get this form onto the front end of our website and you can do this in whatever builder you are using as you guys know i'm a huge fan of the cornerstone builder and so that's what i'm going to use today so let's jump over to this tab here where i have a contact page set up and we're going to add our form in here so we'll type in form integration and we're going to grab our gravity form and we're going to choose our contact form that we were just working on. But now we want to start to customize things. And this is where just a little bit of CSS comes into play. Now, if you are using the Cornerstone Builder, you can simply use the custom code to add some page level CSS here. And a nice perk of the Cornerstone Builder is that Font Awesome is automatically being loaded up on your site. If you go into your global options here within the Cornerstone Builder and scroll all the way down to your Font Awesome section, you can see what you have enabled or disabled, and this will let you know which kind of icons you can tap into. Since in our example here, I have everything enabled, we're just going to jump right into our page CSS here. Now, we know we wanna target a few different things, the first one being that name field. So we're gonna call out our name class. So we're gonna do GF name icon, because that was our first one. Then we're gonna target the G field underscore label. And then we're gonna add before, give it these curly brackets and begin entering in some of that custom CSS. Now, if this is intimidating you in any way or you're just not following along, feel free to just copy paste what I have down in the description below and use that on your site as a baseline. But we're gonna go ahead and type in font family. And then again, I'm using font awesome. So we'll type in font awesome. Then we'll go ahead and add in our content and I'm just gonna add in quotes, but we're not gonna finish this just yet. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some margin to the right side of 10 pixels, but you can obviously adjust that as needed. And you'll notice immediately with that margin of 10 pixels, our name field shifted over to the right. So now we wanna add in our content. So what do we do in here? Well, let's jump over to Font Awesome and grab an icon that would work for this. I think something like this user icon field here. And we wanna grab the Unicode here. So I'm gonna grab the Unicode value, jump back over to what we're building, and I'm gonna type in a backslash and then that Unicode, and you'll notice immediately our name icon is now showing up in the name field. Now we wanna do the same thing for our other two fields, so we'll just copy this down twice here, and instead of name icon, we'll make this email icon, and instead of name icon, we'll make this comments icon, and now we can see this taking shape. Now we want them to have unique icons, so we'll jump back over to Font Awesome here. Let's grab an envelope for our email field and pop that right in here, and you'll notice that's working. And then for our comments, maybe we'll just do something like this here for the sake of example, and we'll pop that Unicode value in here. Let's go ahead and save and open this up on the front end of the site. And there you have it. You'll notice we have a unique name icon, a unique email icon, and a unique comments icon. As always, I hope you guys have found this video useful. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.